everybody and welcome back to Virtual Storytime at the Castle Shannon Library. This is our regularly scheduled Bookworm Buddies Storytime at 4 o'clock on Thursdays. And this week, instead of doing our alphabet series like we've been doing, there is a special holiday coming up on Saturday and that is the 4th of July. So we are going to read books about the 4th of July today. We read one at first story time, one at the second story time, and this time we are going to do an easy reader book. And it's also a non-fiction book. So this is real information about Independence Day, also known as the 4th of July. This book is called Independence Day and it's by Helen Frost. So let's learn a little bit about the 4th of July. Americans celebrate Independence Day every year on July 4th. They remember how the United States of America became a free country. Great Britain once ruled America. King George III was the leader of Great Britain. He made laws for the 13 American colonies. So if you can see in this picture, it's Canada in purple, the United States is in green and yellow, and Mexico is in orange. And the yellow part are the 13 colonies. And you will see that Pennsylvania was also part of those 13 colonies. Well, most of Pennsylvania, I should say, because if you look closer, our part of Pennsylvania was green. The American colonists wanted to govern their own land. They talked about fighting for their freedom. The colonies in Great Britain began to fight the Revolutionary War in 1775. Leaders from the colonies gathered during the war. They signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. This paper said the colonies wanted to be, be a free country, but Great Britain continued to fight the colonists. Now up here, this document that you will see, that is the Declaration of Independence. And if you've ever seen National Treasure, you know where they keep the Declaration of Independence in Washington, D.C. The colonists won the Revolutionary War in 1783. So they signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776, and the Revolutionary War wasn't over until 1783. The colonies became a free country. Colonial leaders named their new country the United States of America. Americans celebrate their freedom every year on Independence Day, People also call this holiday America's birthday or the 4th of July. Families and friends celebrate Independence Day. They have picnics. Communities celebrate Independence Day. They have parades. People watch fireworks at night. Fireworks are an Independence Day tradition. And that is the end of the story. These last couple of pages give us words to know. So uh, like if you didn't know what the Declaration of Independence was, it tells you it's a paper declaring the freedom of the 13 American colonies from the rule of Great Britain. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. It was approved on July 4, 1776. It also gives us three more books to read about Independence Day and internet sites that you could go to learn more about it if you wanted to as well. Now, this book was published in 2000, and so those websites might not still exist. But, and there's also, because this is a nonfiction book, there's an index in the back. And that tells us if you were looking for something specific in this book, like you wanted to find where it talks about Ch King George III. It tells you King George III, he's on page seven. That's how you use an index, if you've ever seen an index in the back of a book. That is it. That is our nonfiction story about Independence Day slash the 4th of July. So if you enjoyed that, 
and you missed the other two stories about the 4th of July, you can go back to the 10.30 and 11.30 story times to listen to those. If not, and you'd like to hear something brand new, you can come back next week on Thursday, 10.30, 11.30, and 4 o'clock for three more story times. We hope you're staying safe and healthy. We can't wait to see you back at the library soon and have a great 4th of July. Have a good day.